It's just so it, it just burns. Oh! <laughs> uh, Pokemon Rangers! What's up guys? This is Mike from Rage Free Gaming, and we just got the jet badge. Well, let's play Pokemon White 2! Well, guys, before we celebrate and go party hardy and shit, we need to actually uh, get one more treasure before we leave town. In the case, remember this youngster kid that we talked to last time? Let's talk to him again. Wow, a jet badge. You went against Skyla. Okay, I'll tell you something cool. We left our treasure at the edge of the runway. Edge of the runway. Okay. In any case, but yeah, I think you can own this item will only appear after you. Um, beat Skylet and get the jet badge. I don't think it shows up here at any other point. Yep, here it is. And we get TM40 Aerial Ace. Nice. Oh, you found our treasure. Uh, oh. Oh, what's up, dudes? Uh, how's it going? Found it. <laughs> Just kidding. Our ducklet already knows Aerial Ace, so we'll give you this TM. Aerial Ace always hits its target. I hope it comes in handy. Oh, <laughs> Ducklet's so cute. It's too bad its evolution sucks ass. Oh, well. See you. Bye-bye. Uh, take care now. Those were nice kids. In the case, TM40 Aerial Ace is definitely a must-get. A nice, speedy flying type move. So, definitely get it. At the very least, for collectible sake. Alright, in any case, let's go meet up with Skylar and Professor Juniper. Cause we're going to a new location today, my bitches. Yes. Hi there. Looks like I kept you waiting. I'm sorry. Shall we give Skylar a chance to show her show us her piloting skills? Oh yeah! We always heard Skylar was a good pilot and shit, but we never got the chance to really experience that in the first game. Looks like the professor's reached the stopping point in her investigation. Ready to hop aboard my plane? You betcha! Let's go! <laughs> ready for takeoff! Yes! Okay, Skylar, we're ready. Please take us to Timmis Town. Uh, Bianca! Wait! <coughs> Shit. You guys, wait, wait, wait! I want to fly too! I want to do some research in Reversal Mountain. Reversal Mountain? Bianca, you're here? You're starting to show the dedication of a serious researcher these days. <laughs> okay, everyone, off we go to a tennis town then. All right, looks like everyone's here except Sharon. Finally, it's time to fly the universe skies. Let's go! Attention, viewers, this is your past or er, failed. <laughs> Attention, viewers, this is your pilot speaking. You may experience some turbulence on the way. Today's in-flight movie is Big Mama's House. What? Oh, sorry, it's Under the Tuscan Sun. Oh. Oh, that was a quick flight. Huh. Didn't even get the chance to even enjoy the fucking in-flight um, dinner and shit. That chicken was, ugh. In any case, well, I suppose I should tell you why I brought you out here. This place is dusty as fuck. Where the fuck are we at, Oliver? If you don't wear, know where Oliver is, that's in Final Fantasy IX. In any case, Sharon told me about a group of people calling themselves Team Plasma are planning to use legendary Pokemon to take over the Unova region. As you may know, in the Unova region, there are two legendary Dragon-type Pokemon, Reshiram and Zekrom. But two years ago, Reshiram and Zekrom each recognized the trainer as a hero. They were They are following those trainers. So Team Plasma shouldn't be able to use some Dragon-type Pokémon. Yeah, so what are they really after then if they can't use those? That's true. What could they be planning? There is much we don't know about Rashiram and Zekrom. That's why I want to hear what Abusa City's gym leader, Drayden, has to say about this. He's a Dragon-type gym leader, so he may know something. So we're, fi so we're finally to the reason why I brought you here. I want you to go to Abolucid City and hear what Drayden has to say. And I would also like you to help me if something happens. Uh, sure. I mean, if I refuse, it's pretty much a buck-down must anyway, right? So, yeah. Thank you. 
it's really best not to get involved with Team Plasma to start with. But still, hearing what Drayden has to say about the Dragon-type Pokemon will be really interesting. And more importantly, don't you fill up blah blah blah, yeah, whatever, the Pokedex, whatever. We all know we're not here for the Pokedex, we're here for the adventure. I'll be in the volcano just beyond here. I'm going to investigate the rumors I've been hearing about a rare fire type Pokemon in Reversal Mountain. A rare fire type, you say? Don't get, don't accidentally trip and fall into the lava, Bianca. <laughs> no, I don't think Bianca's that klutzy. Drayden is a dragon gym leader, so unless you defeat him in a Pokemon battle, he probably won't talk to you. Damn! Okay, you want this knowledge? You must defeat me first. Alright then. As a matter of fact, where exactly are we in Unibet now? The Temis Town. Oh, okay, so we're in Eastern Unibet now. Wait, so that means we're near Undela, Undela Town. Yeah! I remember this, because this is where we fought Cynthia in the post-game and in the first game. Yeah, wow, so we're exploring Eastern Unibet in the main game of the sequel. That's not bad, because this place, um, this section was only reserved for, like, the post-game and the first game. But some of these areas are new. Reversal Mountain, the Temis Town, London Shrine, Strange House. Hmm, weird. Strange House is actually near here. Let's go check that out first. In any case, if the season changes, the scenery from the plane changes. If the, if the climate changes, the local architecture changes. Isn't that interesting? So it seems the Temis Town... Even though we're in Eastern Unova and shit, the Timbers Town feels like we're in the middle of fucking, um, California or some shit. I mean, look how dusty and shit it is. Not saying anything bad about California, because yeah, I, I love Cali. That being said, though, this quiz is difficult. What will happen when you press the select button while you're checking the town map? I don't know, because I don't have one. Okay? The fuck was that about? Whatever. That being said, though, I'm the master move tutor. I'm also obsessed with blue shards. Give me blue shards, and I'll thank you by teaching your Pokemon to move. Oh, another shard tutor. Hmm, let's see. I got only four? Oh, that sucks. So that means I can only get these four moves at the moment. Last resort is worthless. Iron defense, magnet rise, and magic coat. Oh, man. But he sells some really good moves, though. Iron Tail, Aqua Tail, Earth Power, Zen Headbutt, Foul Play, and Super Power. Oh my gosh, really strong. Dragon Pulse! Sadly, I don't have enough shards. <sighs> See, it's, it pays to actually look around. And shit, and sadly... There are no shards in the next group coming up, so... Oof. <laughs> but keep this section in mind for later, though. We'll be back here later, obviously, to learn some moves. Why am I on a journey? Do I remember exactly why... Do you exactly remember why you're traveling? Um, yeah, I'm traveling to become a champion. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Just standing here like a fucking random-ass NPC. Are you going to check the volcano too? The volcano here is the same kind of volcano as Stark Mountain in the Sinnoh region. Ah, Sinnoh region reference with Stark, Stark Mountain. Yeah, if memory serves, that's a mountain that you can explore in the post-game area in Sinnoh. Ah, yeah. I remember that. I will be getting around to the Diamond and Pearl games. I promise. Gen 4 games and hopefully eventually the, um... Diamond and Pearl remakes that came out last year. So yeah, I will get to those eventually, viewers. Trust me, there is no big rush. But if anything, I want to probably do Platinum first before I do the others. I mean, if you don't notice, my main goal, of course, besides doing every game, every genre on the channel, is I also want to play every mainline Pokemon game. So as such, even the um, the originals that came out before Platinum, you know, Diamond and Pearl, want to eventually get to those too, because there are a lot of changes and differences and team setups that I can create. 
So, yeah, that's why I love these Pokemon playthroughs. But, yeah, we get a um, spell tag here. Powers of Ghost Type moves by 10%. Oh, you have a spell tag. Where, where did you find it? Uh, what? But you just, you know what, never mind. Just, uh, I guess the old lady's see now or something. Oh, um, they don't sell any new balls here. Oh, well, ah, I think that takes care of Atemis Town. Or Let Temis Town. Not really a whole lot here. It really rocks, because his name is Crocker Rock. I <laughs> get it? But yeah, pretty much. In any case. Oh, you spoke to me. You're quite a good trainer. Okay, I like you. Take this TM. Ooh, Charge Beam. Nice. Charge Beam sometimes raises the user special attack. If it's successful, the power will go up and up. Cool, that's actually a pretty nice one. I was born here, and I'll die here. Uh, oh, the tennis town is a country town, but I don't mind because I don't know anywhere else. Damn, that, that was dark but deep at the same time. I was born here, and I'm going to die here. There's nothing but beauty here, but Skylet delivers things we don't have. So Skylet makes um, visits to this town often, it seems. I wonder if she's kind of like their postal carrier. <laughs> like flying mail and shit to the, to the neighboring um, parts of the region. Interesting. And in any case... We're, out, we're at Reversal Mountain already? Well, we're on the route to it, anyway. In any case, here on the outskirts of Reversal Mountain, let's see. Um, where is it at? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Now, on my on my notes here, there's like two sections for black and white, so sorry if I go a little slow here, viewers. In any case, as far as the Pokemon here, we got Stropy. Um, uh, it's the pre-evolved form of Drapion. Now, in Pokemon White 2, you can find Namo, as well as its evolved form, Camera here. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, Driftlom is here, as well as Trap Pinch and Skarmory. Though Skarmory is a 5% chance, so, you know, don't expect to find it on a quick note. So, there you go. Speaking of which, let me get my fucking repo up. Instead of just running around here like a dumbass. There you go. Taurus. No. Okay, let's get this full heal. Perfecto. Alright, moving on then. Ah. Reversal Mountain ahead. Now I think about it, is this our first big mountain that we've been to in the game so far? I think it is. Let's go check out Reversal Mountain. Wow. It literally reminds me of Stark Mountain in Sinnoh. Except without the dust clouds. Oh! x -Cadrill. No, no drill bars in this bitch. No, we got x -Cadrills. That's a big dude, too. Damn! I'm hesitant to... Well, I kind of want to catch you, almost. Maybe I will. You know what? Why not? Let's do it. Shadow Claw! Is that supposed to itch? Uh oh! Huh. You're tough. I like that. Rock Slide! Uh <laughs> you thought your Rock Slide was good? Mine's better. You, how about this? Not enough! Uh this x drill is tough. Air Slash! Gently! There you go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Flinched you, bitch! Yeah, you ain't got nothing smart to say now, huh? Yeah, I thought so. In any case, we're in the case, so the dust ball might work here. Let's do it! Dust ball, go! Come on. Come on. Booyah! Yes! Excadrill, get the dose! Nice. Let's see, Excadrill, Subterrane Pokemon. Forming a drill with its steel claws and head, it can bore through a steel plate no matter how thick it is. Damn. Excadrill is a tanky steel ground type, I must say. 
I may or may not use it in the future, you know, just like Emolga that I caught the other day. But, you know, I'm getting it just in case. Because, you know, the post game has, you know, the PWT and stuff. So as such, you're going to need some stellar team combinations. So me getting these excess Pokemon that I didn't really intend to get in the first place is something I would probably do for, you know, the post game. In any case, here inside of the mountain, you can find Wubats, Boldor, Numble, Camerut, and Strope, and of course, Excadrill in the Dust Clouds, so just keep that in mind. Twist Mountain is different depending on what version of the game that you're playing. Hey, Bianca! Now, um, as far as outside in Black 2, you can find Spoink um, and, and Grumpig. You can also find Fabrava in the dark grass around there, too. The inside, um, you can find Squint and Grumpig as well. So the only difference is Camerot, um, I mean, um, Spoink and Numb. Those are the only real big differences here. Hey, Mike! Um, you know what? There's something I want to investigate here in Reversal Mountain. But the wild Pokemon here are really tough, and I'm having trouble with them. Could you come with me, please? Uh, sure. Why not? I'll be your bodyguard. Be my bodyguard! Okay. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll take care of reeling your Pokemon, okay? Ready? Let's go! Right. Viewers, just listen to the beauty, the beauty of Reversal Mountain's music. Isn't it amazing? It's like, it's like wind chimes. It's beautiful. The thing is, with Reversal Mountain, it's different depending, or the sound of it is different depending on what version of the game that you play. So, I like that. Let me pull up my map real quick. In the case, Reversal Mountain has like two or three floors to it. So, but luckily, we're not going to be in here long. The problem is, we got trainers up in this bitch. But with Bianca with us... Uh, yep! Oh, man! Ah. I found a couple. Hey! Bianca has her Marshana with her still. Yeah, remember she caught a uh she caught a mana in the in the um what's it called the dream yard in, in, in the first game. Wow, I'm glad she I'm glad she kept it with her all this time. Nice. But yeah, at this point, since we're going to be looking for shards in order to learn moves from the Moo Tutors, whenever I see Dust Clouds, I'm going to try my best to get to them as quick as possible. Because, needless to say, eh, we're going to need those in order to learn some moves. So, yeah, I'll try my best to get to those Dust Clouds. While also keeping my revive, or Repel up. Yoink! Yes! Another Red Shard! Perfect! All right, we also have double battles in here now that Bianca's with us, so just keep that in mind. Let's see. Now, we're going to be getting to a point in the in the cave. Oh, shit, Pokemon Ranger. Hurry up! Yeah. Oh, what's up, Bianca? Oh, Mike. Here, this is the place. Let's have a look around. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Those Pokemon Rangers. Um, defeat this guy in battle, and he'll heal your Pokemon for you. He's the resident nurse. <laughs> so, there you go. So, what's in here, Bianca? What is this place? It feels very strange. Could it be that this, this is the place where Reversal Mountain started from the lair of the Pokemon Heat Ran? Oh, yeah! I remember the Pokemon Heat Ran. It's a big-ass, um... Kind of like an ugly pseudo legendary, right? Like a fire type, huh? He ran as a Pokemon with with ma magma like blood flowing through it. Magma like blood? Uh, oh, can you imagine having blood that hot? You know what? I didn't know what I was capable of, so I left on a journey to find out. Huh? Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Guess there's nothing really in here. Later on in the game, however, I think something will be in this room. So just keep it in mind for later, because we might be back here later. Probably in the post game. 
Oh, let's see. Where's that Pokemon Ranger? Because I don't want to run into him. All right, good. Ah, ah, hurry up! Fuck! <laughs> I'll read your mind! Bruh. Like, come on! What the fuck is this? Wait a minute, is this a, ro a rotation battle? Wow! Okay, I didn't know we were going to be getting into a rotation battle here. Well, this is the first one I show off. I'll be showing off, so I might as well show it off. Yeah, switch out, because it's going to get KO'd. And slash you! That little bitch out of here. <laughs> Two scraggies. At the very least, the more one of them. Yeah, I don't even have to rotate my... I don't even have to rotate to anyone. The key just with rotation battles is you can select which Pokemon you want to rotate to to have them attack or whatever. It doesn't matter because either way, all your Pokemon will be getting, um... EXP. So, in all honesty, it makes no real difference. So, whoa! Bruh! How Dynamic Punch gets, like, an instant accuracy like that is makes no sense to me. Okay, hurry up! Ah, you're in the way! Yeah, slash it! There you go. Alright, viewers, sorry about that. I hit the wrong button on my emulator. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately. I need to fucking focus. In any case... Yeah, moving on. Um, but yeah, those are how rotation battles are. They're okay, but they're probably one of the most worthless new battle mechanics. Or, or not mechanics, one of the more annoying or useless battle styles I've ever really, you know, seen, in all honesty. I mean, I take triple battles any day, because you have three in Pokemon and stuff like that at the same time, so I like that. Triple battles are basically the successor to the double battle, in all honesty, and it and they did really well with it. Rotation battles are just complete, are just complete ass. I don't know why they bother. In any case, the flame orb, it's a bizarre orb that inflicts a burn on the holder in battle. Why? What was the, what's the point of this hold item? It inflicts a burn on the user? I don't understand that. Why would they create a hold item that makes it so it, it just burn? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Rangers! Alright, viewers, I'm back. My goodness, man. They would put a fucking Pokemon Ranger down here. Like, seriously, there's nothing else down here besides the Flame Orb and the Flame Gem. So, you know what? Let's do a Pokemon Ranger down here. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, like, why? Why? Whatever. In any case, um, got that item. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fucking... No, no. Well, actually, what the fuck am I doing? I can walk through walls. Yeah, why am I going through this bullshit? Walk through walls. <laughs> I keep forgetting I fucking have that. <laughs> like, seriously. Mike, did you forget that you have this ability to do so? What the? I can't go in here. That's weird. Whatever. Walk the walls! <laughs> Damn. Sequence breaking for the win! Yes. Get another red shard. And another one. And another one. Alright, moving on though. Let's see. Is there anything else in this section? Okay, there's, yeah, there's that guy. Alright, there's something to the north though. Excuse me, bruh. Coming through. Thank you. Alright, we got these, um, these cool trainers in the way. 
They're not that cool because I can just go and just sequence break right past their asses. <laughs> what? You call yourselves cool trainers and you don't know people can just sequence break? Huh, that's not very cool at all. If you don't know such, you know, logic. Uh, in a, AKA Game Shark. That being said, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just going to skip past you, bro, if that's okay. There you go. Get this nugget. Alright, there's another item over here. Careful. Thank you. Come again. Ah, let's go through. Alright, in any case, we're almost out of here. Let me guess. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm about to say, let me guess. Pokemon Ranger? No. Oh, Undela Town is right through here. I want to keep going a little bit, though. What do you want to do? Shall we say goodbye for now? Um, I guess so. Was there any item that I missed? Let me see. Hmm. Actually, there is a main... Ch no. Actually, there is a main chamber that I accidentally missed, though. No, no. I, I didn't want to go. Darn it. Well, I actually... Yeah. A magma stone. I like the fact that they make so many references to um to Sinnoh in here though. That is that is a nice touch. Alright, but yeah, there is one section that I forgot. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back. In any case, I found TM69 rock um polished. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. Just had the slight chuckle at that. TM69 rock polish. Yeah, I'm just going to polish my rocks. Yeah, yeah. That's such a fucking, um... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Just forget it. In any case, get a smoke ball. Nice. And... Get an escape rope. There was another place here, near here, called the Strange House. I wonder where that is. Hmm. Let's go check around. You know what? Fuck this. Walk the walls. <laughs> nice. Oh! TM30 Shadow Ball! Thank you much. In any case. How the fuck do I get through here? You know what? Fuck it. Walk the walls. <laughs> nice. Okay, so. I guess, I guess we're close to the mountain, it seems. Interesting. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to make sure my repo was still up. Um, where exactly? Oh, yeah, it's those bikers. Okay, okay, so we're close to the entrance of the place. In any case, so I think this is Strange House. But what's so strange about it? What could be on the inside of it? Find out next time. Guys, enjoy it. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for giving me bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so notified of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.